Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we are going to solve this problem related to stress and strain. We have already solved many problems similar to this related to stress and strain and regarding elongation of the bar, whose link you can find in the description box below. So right now, let's talk about this question. What our question tells us is that calculate the reaction produced by the lower support on the bar shown in the figure. This is our figure. This is our upper and lower support, and and the upper support, uh, the reaction for the upper support is R1, while the lower support reaction is R2. Uh, find also the stress in the bar. We have bar consists of two sections. LM and MN and we need to find the stresses in this both of these sections and we have uh, Young's modulus velocity E equals to 200 gigapascals so firstly we will be converting this into Newton per meter square and in order to convert gigapascals into Newton per meter square we simply need to multiply it by 10 to the power 9 so what we are going to do next is we are going to draw our individual figures so what we have over here is we have lower and upper support and this is our uh, bar our bar comes of two portions lm and mn portion our lm portion is of length 1.2 meter and co and contains the area 110 mm square while our mn portion contains 2.4 meter and it has area of 220 mm square and we have been given our total deflection of the bar as 1.2 mm so now we are going to talk about all of this so firstly uh, in order to explain this i'm going to draw my portion lm so let me draw my portion lm so what I have over is my portion LM and there is a tensile force R1 acting over here. This tensile force is due to the upper or due to the upper support on the bar. And what I have is uh, so downward there is a tensile force of 50 uh, 55 kilo newton. There is a tensile force of 55 kilo newton, but 55 kilo newton there is acting downward and similarly there is a force of r2 there is a reaction force of r2 acting uh, vertically upward so let me draw this figure for this side as well then it will be more clear so i have my this is my mn portion and i have my r2 acting vertically upward so in order to maintain equilibrium a force of r2 must act downward so r2 but no such forces of r2 exist over here so r2 is acting upward so r2 must act downward but no source forces exist so what we need to do is we need to support another force of r2 acting upward so this r2 force is written over here so we have another remaining force of r2 acting in this direction r2 acting in this direction so our equivalent figure will be something like this so r1 is acting upward so in downward direction of force of 55 minus r2 this is acting downward 55 minus r2 is acting downward so we have l and m so as you can see here the nature of the force is tensile so we are going to have positive deflection our positive deflection means extension since both of these are tensile force which are pulling apart so what we are going to have is we are going to have positive deflection over here which is our extension ext means extension which are denoted by plus and but in this case we can see here we have compressive force of r2 both these reaction uh, reactions r2 are compressive in nature so we are going to have compression which is denoted as minus delta so for this equation so what we have over here is uh, 55 kilo newton must be equal to uh, 55 not 51 sorry so uh, so for this portion what we have is r1 r1 is acting upward this must be equal to 55 minus r2 this is going to be our equation first so let me simply put this in my box and what you can see over here is due to our upper bar we are having tensile reaction while due to our lower bar we are having compressive reaction and as you can see here since um, uh, due to uh, due to both of these uh, deflections we have a total deflection of the bar as 1.2 mm so due to this plus deflection and minus deflection due to our extension and contraction we have our total deflection of 1.2 mm and according to our question we need to find the reaction produced by the lower support firstly we need to find the reaction produced by the lower support which is our r2 we need to find our value of r2 so what we're going to simply do is we have our del we have our total deflection del which is 1.2 m this will be simply equal to our deflection of lm portion plus deflection of mn portion so now we are going to continue this so now what we are going to do next is for our we have our total deflection as 1.2 mm we have our formula for del as pl by a e plus for our mn portion we have minus pl by a e mn 
so why minus sign because and uh, because for our mn mn section we have a reaction force of compressive nature so the uh, so our total ext so we have compressive uh, so we have our deflection or our extension negative since this is squeezing or compressing we are going to have our extension as negative while for our reaction is pulling apart so we are going to have our positive extension so that's why i have used your negative sign so next what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, convert millimeter into meter into the power 3 we have p1 is uh, simply equal to 55 minus r2 since we need to find the value of r2 uh, our p is equal to 55 minus r2 we can use r1 or 55 minus r2 so i'm going to put 55 minus r2 into our length of ln portion is 1.2 meter from our question into 1.2 divided by our area is given as 110 mm square from our question 110 uh, we are going to convert this uh, millimeter square into meter square since uh, 1 meter equals to 10 to the power 3 mm so 1 mm will be simply equal to 10 to the power minus 3 mm so 1 meter so 1 mm will be equal to so 1 mm will be simply equal to 10 to the power minus 3 mm so uh, therefore 1 on it 10 millimeter square will be equal to into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square into we have e as 200 into 10 to the power 9 so we are going to use that for our mn portion so minus sign i'm going to take it outside so for our this portion we have our p as r2 r2 into length of this portion is 2.4 divided by area is 220 which is in millimeter square and in order to convert it into meter square we need to multiply it again by 10 to the power minus 6 into our e is 200 into the power 9 which is same 200 into the power 9 on solving this we are going to get our value of r2 so i'm going to just directly you can do this from your calculator on solving this we are going to get our value of r2 as 16.5 kilonewton 16.5 kilonewton our value of r2 is this and using our equation 1 we will get our value of r1 as 55 minus r2 which is 55 minus 16.5 and this will be equal to 38.5 kN. So we have figured our value of R1 and R2. So next what we need to find is we need to find our stresses in the bar. Stresses in the bar. So we are going to find our stress for our firstly for our LM portion. Our question final asks us to find the stress in the bar. So firstly we are going to find the stress for our LM portion and MN portion. So stress in LM. Stress in LM which we are denoting by the sign sigma lm will be simply equal to r1 divided by a1 and sigma equals to p by a or p is r over here r1 divided by a1 our value of r1 is 38.5 uh, we are going to convert kilo newton into newton into the power 3 divided by our value of a1 is 110 millimeter square 110 so this will be simply equal to uh, 350 newton per mm square similarly for our portion mn stress in mn which is denote as sigma mn this will be simply equal to r2 divided by a2 and this will be equal to our r2 value is 16.5 kN 16.5 to the power 3 newton divided by a2 is uh, 220 and this will be simply equal to 75 newton per m square so in this way we are going to find our stress we are going to find our reactions due to our upper and lower support if you have any queries uh, you can comment down below and if you like our videos do subscribe to the channel it will motivate me to upload more videos thank you